I began my evaluation of this 1989 Mercedes 560 SL with the impression that it would be a speed demon, since it's related to the 300 SL. The famous Gullwing Racer, which in its day was the fastest production car ever. But after getting in and attempting to drive it quickly around a corner, I discovered that I was dead wrong. I realized that this German machine had moved on, beyond the boyish racing attitude, and had grown up to be a more sophisticated and matured automobile. Today it can be seen as the perfect classy but elitist summer beach cruiser. It has a lightly colored comfortable interior, a decent stereo, and a unique style that can't be found in new cars. This SL, the 560, had the biggest engine available with a grunty 5.6 liter V8 which made 227 horsepower and 187 pound-feet of torque. Its 0 to 60 speed is around 7.5 seconds with a top speed of 130 miles an hour. The 560's outdated performance is compensated by its ageless style. The exterior styling screams luxury, with its wide body and enormous hood. The factory MSRP on this car in 1989 was $65,000, which is equal to $120,000 today. Fortunately for the modern consumer, this generation SL class can be bought from $15,000 to $20,000. Like I mentioned in the opening statement, the suspension isn't incredible from a performer's point of view. The car weighs 4,100 pounds, which is almost equal to two first-generation Mazda Miatas. And even though it has a decently balanced weight distribution, it feels very nose-heavy. While the suspension may be insufficient for performance, it manages to absorb potholes effortlessly. As for the interior, the seats and armrests are incredibly comfortable, and are definitely the most comfortable I've experienced. This particular model only has 90,000 miles, which is low for its age. The gauge cluster is very informative, with various gauges and a conveniently placed clock directly below the tachometer. The soft convertible top is in excellent condition, but is difficult to maneuver if you have no idea what you're doing. Unfortunately, with the long hood comes a small trunk. But this car was built for cruising, not commuting. There you have it, the 1989 Mercedes-Benz 560 SL. Tremendous luxury and elegance in an easygoing and reasonably priced package. Just don't expect to outrun anything quicker than a Mini Cooper at a stoplight.